Brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. The Gospel that we hear for this 23rd Sunday of the Ordinary Time, Year C, again taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, beautifully illustrates to us that a great crowd of people were desiring to follow Jesus Christ. For us, it should not come surprising because of the fact that the words of Jesus were beautiful as they were equally persuasive. Probably when people heard him speak, people were drawn to him. People were attracted to his teaching and to his example. But Jesus did not stop with such an accolade. He knew that while listening to the word, was indeed the choice of these people. They must understand the deeper meaning of what it means to stay with Him, to join in His company. These two expressions, to travel with Him and to be with Him, are expressions of authentic discipleship. One cannot join and travel and journey with Jesus not unless there is an inner desire to stay with Him. But this staying with Him demands a radical choice because it would mean imitating Him in forgetting oneself and one's security. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must take up his cross. He must also leave his parents, his children, his wife, brothers and sisters, as if in a summary, doing all of this, Jesus would mean living our very self. You know, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, discipleship, therefore, journeying with Jesus Christ is a journey that must leave off our self-seeking and our selfishness. While I speak of this as the negative dimension of discipleship, losing one's selfishness, losing one's own security, there is also the positive dimension of this following of Jesus, the carrying of one's cross. Oftentimes when we speak of the cross, we always remember our difficulties, maybe our pains, our problems, our sickness. But you see, in the Gospel of Luke, the cross does not signify these. In Luke, the Gospel is represented by this cross. No wonder then, the word used by the evangelist to carry the cross should also mean to lift high the cross. The Greek text has the same meaning, to lift up and to carry. These are the words applied in one's following of Jesus Christ, of the gospel, and of the cross. The cross, therefore, is not about our own difficulties. The cross is all about the gospel. And our difficulties and the struggles that we have, if these are consequences of our lifting up of the gospel and of the cross, then indeed they become evangelical witness of the gospel that we want to lift high. Whoever does not carry his cross, and I would say, Whoever does not lift high the cross of the gospel, he cannot be my disciple. But remember, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that this path demands a serious thought. The second part of the gospel that we have heard speaks of two different short stories. We could say they are parables 
to reinforce the teachings of Jesus that to anyone who wishes to follow Jesus Christ like a good builder, like a good king, they must be willing to sit down to calculate whether they have the perseverance, they have the resources to finish and to complete the task. But on hindsight, we ask the question, who among us are truly capable of finishing the work? Who among us are really that strong in order to fulfill the demands of discipleship? We can only shake our heads and say, no one of us. Precisely then, greater need falls on us to go back to Jesus who grants us the graces that we truly need in order to fulfill the task that we need to accomplish. In following Him, we do not rely on our strength. In following Him, we do not rely on our wisdom. In following Him, we rely solely on the Lord who has called us to be His own. If we are called to become disciples of the Lord, not because we are strong, not because we are capable of finishing, of accomplishing the task. On the contrary, we are very weak. But precisely in the same manner that St. Paul exclaims, when we follow Jesus, we must be willing to say, it is not I who live, it is Christ living in me. There in that expression, we capture the entirety of what it means to accomplish the task and the mission given to us. Not by our own strength, but by the strength of Him who has loved us to be His own. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, discipleship is not easy. Humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with the grace of the Lord, with our disposition to journey with Jesus, with our desire, with our goodwill to listen to Him and to gather with Him, I think we are in a position to accomplish the mission and the vocation that He has given us. Just like the Blessed Mother, who did not speak of her own strength, but always glorifying in what God has done to her. May each one of us do the same, praising the Lord, for He has called us not because we are strong, for indeed we are weak, and in our weakness, the strength of God is revealed in Jesus Christ. Let us pray for one another. Let us ask our Mother, the Blessed Mother, to accompany us. And let us pray for all priests, for all religious, that they be the first ones to give witness to this victory of the grace of the Lord in their lives. And to Him who has called us to be His own, be glory forever and ever. Amen.